What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of ratings and reviews and what uh, important part they play in the overall ASO equation and also how you can gain more of these ratings and reviews for your app or your game. So ratings and reviews basically have two main purposes. The first one is to let um, consumers know whether your app um, or your game is of good quality. And just like other services like food or clothes, um, a lot of consumers will base their decision making on the product or services rating. So um, yeah, I would say that if you have an average rating of under four, you don't fuck that now. Um, this really impacts your conversion rate negatively um, and I would suggest going into your app, tweaking it and uh, polishing it up just to get the overall ratings up. Okay, so the second purpose is for um, the Apple App Store's algorithm and this lets them know once again whether your app is good quality or whether it's junk. So if it's good, they will push it up in the search results. If it's junk, they will push it down. Another thing in terms of ASO, which helps a lot of times when people leave reviews, um, the keywords they leave in your reviews will also affect how your app ranks for that particular keyword. So this is also um, helps Apple to know what your app is about and if people are happy with it and thus affecting your overall ASO. Um, like I said, uh, ratings and reviews are just one part of the overall ASO equation. There are many other things, but it is an important part nonetheless. So how can you increase the number of ratings and reviews for your app or your game? So what I found worked the best for me is, um, first of all, you need to use Apple's rating API. If you don't know what it is, it's basically a pop-up that comes when you open up your app um, it gets shown to the player and um, before they would have to, in order to leave a review, they would have to leave your game or your app and go to the app store and the conversions weren't really great because a lot of people didn't want to do that. Uh, so with this new API, basically they can rate the game um, inside of your app. So yeah, there's no need for them to leave your app or your game. And this obviously increases the conversions of players who want to rate, rate your app. So that's the first thing. Um, bear in mind, you can only show it three times for the player's lifetime. So what I found is that I, when I show it on the third time they open my game, that's pretty much the sweet spot. The reason why is that someone who doesn't like your app or your game is not going to open it for the second time, especially not the third time. So you can pretty much be sure that when they open up for the third time that they do find some value in it. And as such, they are more willing to leave you a more positive review and not those one star reviews that all that get our blood boiling. Okay, so yeah, that's also important. Another thing is that Listen, there are so many apps on people's phones these days and there's so many prompts, um, especially with Apple. There's ones when they, when you download an app, there's ones for app tracking now. There are ones for push notifications. So basically the, this um, ratings prompt just gets lost along with all the other ones that they see on a daily basis. So what I also found helps with the conversion is if you add, you incorporate it into your game so it doesn't look um, unnatural. It looks part of your UI. So what I do is I add a separate screen with some uh, colorful characters, um, something funny, um, just asking them that to leave a review or rating because it helps us grow. And um, yeah, like a little, a funny little um, animation um, also goes a long way. This just separates your uh, rating prompt from every everything else that they see in the day. So this also really helps and um, increases the conversions of people rating your game or your app. So 
I hope you guys found value in this video. I'm gonna do some more videos like this on ASO uh, tricks and tips that I've learned over the years that have really helped me uh, achieve over 30,000 downloads per month for my studio. So yeah, I'd like to show, uh, show you guys some of that stuff and uh, pass on that knowledge to you guys. So hopefully it helps you out with your ASO and your app business. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please, you know the drill, smash that like button. Please subscribe, uh, it really helps me out. And um, yeah, you'll see more videos like this. I put out a video at least once a week and I always make sure there's a lot of value for you guys, um, absolutely free of charge. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave me a comment um, below if you have any other tips on ASO that, that you found that's worked for yourself. And um, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Stay safe and peace out.